so we have been doing a lot with solving word problems. So up here it says, I can use a variety of strategies to add and subtract within 100. And we've been doing addition. So we've been using many different strategies. Can somebody tell me some strategies that we've been using to solve addition problems? Ava, can you give me a strategy that we've been using? Make a 10. Make a 10, very good. Can you explain what make a 10 is? You um, take some ones from the of from the number that isn't closest to a 10 to make another number with a multiple of 10. Yeah. So because a, a number with a zero is very easy to add to. I love what Ava just said at the end. She said a number with a zero at the end, all of our multiples of 10 are easier to add, right? We just saw that over there. We added those super quick in our head, didn't we? Yeah. So if we can make a 10, that helps uh, the problem be much easier, right? Katie, can you give me another strategy that we've been working on to solve addition problems? Regrouping. Regrouping, or using our standard algorithm of lining up the ones and the tens. Awesome. And can somebody tell me my, our last strategy that we've been using to solve addition problems? Mia, can you tell us the last strategy? Break apart. Our break apart method, very good. And that, Mia, can you tell us what that is? Remind us what the break apart method is? The break apart method is a method a method where you take a number, let's say I had 27. So there's two tens and seven ones. So you would put 20 and then plus seven. Great, so we would use that expanded form that we've been doing so much of. We break apart our number into tens and ones and then we add our tens and our ones, nice job. So what I have here is I have our strategies that we've been using up here so that you can look at these as you solve the problem.